Hey everybody, welcome back to an introduction to ArcGIS Survey 123. I'm Jenny Sauer. I'm a mobile solutions specialist here with the USDA APHIS PPQ End User Tools team. And we're going to discuss in this video collect versus inbox bar. The inbox bar may or may not show up in your survey, but if it does, it can be a point of confusion. What does it mean basically? The inbox bar shows up to assign surveys to you. And it usually has to do with a location. For instance, for a specific state. So let's say a survey is held nationwide, but you're in Tennessee. So the inbox would hold Tennessee surveys only. And it's just a way, especially for state cooperators, to see only the data in their state. I'll give you an example. So back here at the Mobile Data Collection Tools web page, you'll want to go scroll down a little bit, and we've been hanging out in this general page where we have Survey123 information. If you click the Pest Program Specific page, you can see a list of pest programs. So if the inbox is enabled for your program, you'll find information specific on how to use that in the Survey123 app. Let's have a look at Box Tree Moth. And in particular, it's the trace surveys that had a Survey123. And here's the Box Tree Moth trace manual. On completing a survey, there is a whole section on the inbox that is enabled and how it's preloaded with the location and how to collect data. So I'd recommend going to your pest program specific manual in the case that the inbox is enabled. Another thing to pay really good attention to is a workflow when using an inbox. Let's look at that closely. To use the inbox, it's very similar to the workflow to set up disconnected mode in data collection using the ArcGIS Collector app. If you're familiar with using the Collector app, this is going to feel very familiar. Instead of the Sync button though, Survey123 has a Refresh button. So this workflow is, while Wi-Fi is on, open your downloaded survey, go to the inbox, select Refresh, then you're good to turn Wi-Fi off and go out and collect data. You can save that data to the outbox. At the end of the day, with Wi-Fi enabled again, open the outbox, send all of your surveys off, and then you need to go to the inbox again and refresh it. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So here we are back at my iPad, but remember this Survey123 form will look exactly the same regardless of the device, whether that's desktop or a mobile device. So remember the workflow? Well, connected to Wi-Fi, which I am, I'm going to open Survey123. It is signing me into the Enterprise Portal. Make sure that you have your EAuth username and password handy in case you're prompted for that again. I've downloaded a survey that is a training survey, so there's no sensitive data here. And while connected to Wi-Fi, I'm going to open that survey. I have to tap Inbox and I'm going to hit this Refresh button here at the bottom right corner. And it's two taps or clicks sometimes, in this case it took it in one, to refresh that screen. So you see originally I had nothing there and when I hit refresh it pulled all of these, these are all test inspection locations. So in your case whatever was loaded into that inbox for you to view is what you'll see here. You might find it listed, it could be a long list, it could be a short list. You may search by address. I could just try typing in an address and it will find here is an address that has 1425 in it. Anything from that form that's already in there, any data in that form is there. You could also look by the location name. It's Jenny's training site in this case. So I know that's a location I could search for from this list. So I could go ahead and just type in, typed in Jenny and there it is. So it's a very responsive search bar or perhaps you're, you're able to just find it from this list. So I am able to find it from this list. So remember, well, Wi-Fi connection is enabled. Refresh. Now I can go ahead and disconnect from Wi-Fi and this list is refreshed on my device. So now I'm disconnected from Wi-Fi and let's pretend I'm out in the field. 
My next step will be to select that. I'll get the option to either view or edit. As a surveyor out there in the field, you probably want to edit, but you have the option just to have a look. I'm going to tap Edit, which opens that form. And in this case, the inbox not only assigned these for my review to add data to, but it also loads pre-location information. So this trace information section is already pre-loaded with information on that location. As the surveyor, I should review this and possibly might find some changes or find some edits that need to be entered here. Perhaps you've been asked to. And, and then I can scroll down to the part that needs information, which is call information, and complete that as well. You want to be sure that you check back with your program manager and that you're following survey protocol and that you've referenced manuals available to you that will tell you how to fill out this form. Once I've completed this form, because I'm disconnected, my options are to save in the outbox or to continue this survey. I'm going to save it in the outbox because that's what you would do in the field. And now let's simulate we've gone back to the office. The last steps of that workflow are to connect to Wi-Fi and then I'm going to hit refresh. And it's going to give you notes like these surveys are already on your device or in outbox saved as a draft. So let's go to the outbox here now that I'm connected to Wi-Fi. So I have the option to select this three dots and delete it if needed. I also can select just the survey itself by tapping on that bar and if I want to I can edit it now back in the office. Yes or no. I'm going to click no. Finally I have the option here at the bottom right to send. So I'm going to go ahead and send that update and now I don't have any outbox here. I'll go back to inbox and let's try refresh again. There you go. That's the whole workflow. So what about that collect bar? If the inbox is enabled, it's highly likely that is your best path towards data collection in survey one, two, three, but that still leaves the collect bar there. So when would you use it? Again, use what you know. Go to the mobile data collection tools website, open your manual. Again, I'm using this box tree moth survey, which had an inbox bar enabled. Right here in the table of contents, you can see under complete a survey, there are instructions on using the inbox bar, which contained preloaded -lo locations, and the collect bar to add a new location. So in the instance where the inbox is being used with preloaded locations and you need to add a new location, it may be your best path to use the collect bar. The collect bar will start you afresh with a new form without those preloaded locations and will then henceforth show up in the inbox as something that you've added. But again, always check with your pest program manual and survey protocol if you have any questions on when to use that collect bar versus the inbox bar.